South Western Railway SWR is an English train operating company owned by First Group 70% and MTR Corporation 30% that operates the South Western franchise. It operates commuter services from its central London terminus at London Waterloo to South West London. SWR provides suburban and regional services in the counties of Surrey, Hampshire and Dorset, as well as regional services in Devon, Somerset, Berkshire and Wiltshire. Its subsidiary Island Line operates services on the Isle of Wight. SWR was awarded the South Western franchise in March 2017, and took over from South West Trains on 20 August 2017. Topic history After failing to negotiate an extension of the South Western franchise with the operator of the time South West Trains owned by Stagecoach, the Department for Transport DFT announced in July 2015 that the franchise would be relit. In February 2016, the DFT announced First Group and Stagecoach had been shortlisted to bid for the next South Western franchise. In June 2016, MTR Corporation took a 30% shareholding in the first group bid. In July 2016, the DFT issued the invitation to tender. In March 2017, the franchise was awarded to first, MTR with operations commencing on 20 August 2017. It will run until 18 August 2024, with an option for the DFT to extend for a further 48 weeks. In July 2017, the Competition and Markets Authority CMA sought undertakings from SWR that it would not abuse its monopoly on services to the west of England, Dorset, and Somerset, as First Group also operates the Greater Western franchise in these regions. The CMA accepted a concession from First Group and MTR that unregulated fares between London and Exeter would be capped. In April 2018, concerns began to grow over South Western Railway's performance over recent months after the number of delays and cancellations began to rise. Transport Secretary, Chris Grayling announced an independent review into the performance of South Western Railway and Network Rail. This was welcomed by Winchester MP, Steve Bryan. In July 2018, it was reported that First Group, MTR are renegotiating the SWR contract due to the operator's inability to deliver on many of its promised improvements, as well as its declining performance and history of industrial action. <laughs> <laughs> Services South Western Railway is the main operator for Western Surrey, Hampshire and Dorset, and also serves London, Berkshire, Wiltshire, Somerset and Devon. Most SWR services run on electrified lines using the 750 volts DC third rail system. There is a diesel fleet for services on the West of England line to Salisbury, Exeter and Bristol, using the unelectrified track beyond Warding Junction just west of Basingstoke, and for Salisbury to Southampton via Romsey services which also serve Eastley. SWR operates almost 1,700 train services per day. From London Waterloo, SWR's London terminus, long distance trains run to southern England, including the major coastal population centres of Portsmouth, Southampton, Bournemouth, Poole, and Weymouth. There are also trains to Reading, Exeter, and Bristol, but these are not the principal fast services from London to those cities, which are operated from London Paddington by Great Western Railway. The majority of its passengers are on suburban commuter lines in inner and southwest London, Surrey, East Berkshire, and northeast Hampshire. As with most rail companies, non-folding bicycles are banned from peak time trains to and from London. However, these restrictions apply only to cyclists boarding or alighting in the area bounded by Hook, Alton, Guildford, Reading and Dorking, in order to maximise available passenger space on the most crowded trains. <laughs> Mainline services South Western Railway operates regular services on four mainline routes, 
The South Western Main Line SWML, runs between London Waterloo Station and the town of Weymouth. The route passes through several large towns and cities, including Woking, Basingstoke, Winchester, Southampton, Bournemouth, Poole and Dorchester. South Western Railway operates trains along the entire length of the line. Almost all trains operated by the company start from or terminate at London Waterloo, these include stopping services as far as Basingstoke, semi-fast services to, from Southampton and Poole, and express services to, from Weymouth. There are also trains to and from Portsmouth, these trains branch off the SWML at Eastleigh, then proceed via the Eastleigh to Fareham and West Coastway lines to Portsmouth Harbour Station. In addition to the South Western Railway services, Cross Country operates regular passenger services on the line between Basingstoke, Southampton and Bournemouth, these usually run to and from Manchester or Newcastle. The Portsmouth Direct Line PDL branches off the SWML at Woking and runs to Portsmouth via Guildford, Hazelmere, Petersfield and Havant. South Western Railway operates all passenger trains on this route, these include fast and semi-fast services between London and Portsmouth, and semi-fast services as far as Hazelmere. The West of England Main Line WEML is the only mainline route that is not fully electrified. It leaves the SWML at Basingstoke and runs to Exeter via Andover, Salisbury, Gillingham and Yeovil. South Western Railway is the only operator on the line, with most services running between London and either Salisbury or Exeter St David's. Some peak time services terminate at various other destinations on the line, including Gillingham and Andover. Other peak services branch off the line and run to Bristol Temple Meads Station via the Wessex Main Line. On summer Saturdays, there is also a daily return service to Weymouth, which leaves the WEML at Yeovil Junction and continues via the heart of Wessex Line. The Alton Line leaves the SWML at Brookwood just after Woking and runs to Alton via Aldershot and Farnham. It is the shortest of the four mainline routes and as such it is sometimes considered an outer suburban route instead however for ticketing purposes, it is classed as a mainline route. Services usually run the full length of the line between London and Alton, though some services terminate at Farnham. In total, there are 14 mainline trains per hour departing London Waterloo in the off peak, this number increases in the peak hours. The majority of mainline services are operated by Class 444 or Class 450 EMUs, except for the West of England Main Line which is always operated by Class 158 or Class 159 DMUs because it is unelectrified and the Alton Line which also sees the occasional use of Class 458 units. Metro and suburban services South Western Railway also operates many suburban metro services in and around London. These all run between London Waterloo and Clapham Junction, where they split into two separate routes, via Putney and via Wimbledon. All services on the suburban part of the network are operated by Class 450, Class 455, Class 456, Class 458 and Class 707 electric multiple units. Topic via Putney The main route via Putney is known as the Waterloo to Reading Line. It runs between London and Reading and passes through towns such as Staines upon Thames, Ascot and Wokingham. Branch lines on this route include, the Hounslow Loop Line, which leaves the main line at Barnes, runs via Brentford and rejoins the line between Witten and Feltham with junctions in both directions. Most services on the branch run either between London and Weybridge described below, or run in a loop from Waterloo to Waterloo via Brentford, Witten and Richmond these services run both clockwise and anticlockwise. The Kingston Loop Line, which branches off at Twickenham, runs via Kingston and joins the South Western Main Line at New Malden. 
Most services on this line run in an anti-clockwise loop, from Waterloo to Waterloo, via Putney, Strawberry Hill, Kingston and Wimbledon. There is also a branch line to Shepparton, however, this is only served by Putney trains at peak times. The Staines to Windsor line, which branches off the main line at Staines upon Thames and runs to Windsor and Eton Riverside Station. Most services run semi-fast between London and Windsor. The Chertsey branch line, which leaves the main line at Virginia Water and runs to Weybridge. Most services on the line run between London and Weybridge via the Hounslow Loop line. A few services are extended beyond Weybridge, to and from Woking. The Ascot to Guildford line, which is only served by through trains at peak times, these services run between London and Aldershot. A total of 12 trains per hour run between London Waterloo and Putney in the off peak, this number increases in peak hours. Topic. Via Wimbledon The main route via Wimbledon uses the slow tracks of the quadruple track South Western Main Line. Suburban trains run along the main line between London and Woking. Branch lines on this route include the Mole Valley Line, which branches off the main line at Rains Park and runs via Epsom to Leatherhead, where the branch line itself splits into two lines, one to Guildford and one to Horsham via Dorking. SWR runs regular services to both Guildford and Dorking. The section between Dorking and Horsham is operated by Southern. The Chessington Branch Line branches off the Mole Valley Line at Motspur Park and runs to Chessington. The Kingston Loop Line, which leaves the SWML at New Malden, runs via Kingston and joins the Waterloo to Reading Line at Twickenham. Most services on this line run in a clockwise loop, from Waterloo to Waterloo, via Wimbledon, Kingston, Strawberry Hill and Putney. The Shepparton Branch Line, which branches off the Kingston Loop Line at Teddington. Most services on the branch line run between Waterloo and Shepparton via Wimbledon. The Hampton Court branch line, which leaves the main line at Surbiton and runs directly to Hampton Court. The new Guildford line, which also branches off at Surbiton, running to Guildford via Claygate. The line joins the Guildford branch of the Mole Valley Line at Effingham Junction. A total of 16 trains per hour run between London Waterloo and Wimbledon in the off peak. This number increases in peak hours. Topic: <laughs> Other services. Routes that do not start or terminate at London Waterloo include the Ascot to Guildford line, which runs between Ascot and Guildford via Aldershot. Most services on the line run only between Ascot and Guildford, with no extension in either direction, however, some peak time services do run between London and Aldershot via Ascot. The shuttle services are usually operated by class 450 units. The western section of the West Coastway line between Portsmouth and Southampton. Class 450 units are usually in operation on this route. The Eastleigh to Romsey line between Romsey and Eastleigh. Services on the line are extended beyond Eastleigh to and from Salisbury via Southampton Central and Romsey, in effect calling at Romsey twice. These services are operated using Class 158 units. The Wessex main line between Salisbury and Southampton. Services are extended beyond Southampton via the Eastleigh to Romsey line, as described above. The Limington branch line between Brockenhurst and Limington Pier. This is operated by Class 158 DMUs on weekdays despite the line being electrified throughout and by Class 450 EMUs at weekends. The Island line on the Isle of Wight, between Ride Pier Head Station and Shanklin. These services are operated using former London Underground Class 483 units, the oldest non-heritage trains in Britain. Service table 
Details of each route, including maps and timetables, are on the South Western Railway official website see external links below. As of January 2018, its routes off-peak Monday to Friday, with frequencies in trains per hour TPH, include Topic future services improvements promised under the 2017 contract were, refurbished trains journeys to London 8 minutes faster from Southampton, 9 minutes faster from Bournemouth, 10 minutes faster from Exeter and 14 minutes faster from Weymouth free Wi-Fi at all stations and on mainland trains 29 additional weekday and Saturday services between Portsmouth and Southsea and Southampton Central hourly direct trains from Weymouth to Portsmouth to begin before 2019 35 additional weekday and Saturday services between Portsmouth and Southsea and London Waterloo more Sunday services investment in stations, including improvements to Southampton Central Station live information on seating availability and crowding levels via a new mobile phone app. <laughs> Rolling stock South Western Railway inherited a fleet of Class 158, Class 159, Class 444, Class 450, Class 455, Class 456, Class 458, Class 483, and Class 707s from Southwest Trains. Topic: <laughs> Current fleet. Topic: Future fleet. The class 455, 456, 458, and 707 fleets will be replaced by 90 Aventra 5 and 10 carriage sets built by Bombardier's Derby Litchurch Lane Works for use on Reading, Windsor, and South West London services by December 2020. Topic Depots Topic Wimbledon Wimbledon Traincare Depot is located between Wimbledon and Earlsfield stations, on the main line to Waterloo, next to the Wimbledon Railway Viaduct. Topic Bournemouth Bournemouth Depot is southwest of Bournemouth Station, occupying the approach to the former Bournemouth West Station. Until their withdrawal in February 2007, the depot was home to the Class 442 Wessex Electrics. The branch turns off at Branksham Station where trains can be seen stopping at Platform 2 and reversing into the depot. Topic: Clapham Junction, Battersea. Clapham Junction Depot provides stabling for the De Zero fleet. Topic: Northam. Northam Depot was built by Siemens in 2002 as the home depot for the De Zero fleet as part of a 20-year maintenance contract. It is located south of St. Dennis Station and is near Southampton Football Club's St. Mary's Stadium. <laughs> Effingham Located next to Effingham Junction Station, the depot is used for the berthing of MPVs multi-purpose vehicles. It has two pitted roads and a fuel point. Topic Salisbury. Salisbury Depot provides servicing for the South Western Railway diesel fleet. Topic Strawberry Hill. Strawberry Hill Train Maintenance Depot in South West London was built in 1897. is inside the triangular junction of the Shepparton Branch Line with the Kingston Loop Line, just yards from Strawberry Hill Railway Station. 
Topic Fratton Fratton Traincare Depot is in central Portsea Island, alongside Fratton Station. It has a carriage washer and is the fueling point for the 158s and 159s. The depot has a train shed with two pitted roads for maintenance of rolling stock. Class 444 and 450 units berth overnight. Stabling sidings and bay platforms at Portsmouth and Southsea Station are coordinated from the depot. Farnham Farnham Depot, in Waden Lane, was opened by the Southern Railway at the time of the electrification of the Portsmouth and Alton lines in 1937. It was refurbished for the introduction of modern units when slam door trains were replaced circa 2005. At the same time, disused quarry and ballast dump sidings behind the carriage shed were removed and a number of outdoor sidings were laid for overnight storage and servicing of units. <laughs> 